Welcome to Salt and Sea. Smells like a um, a row of porta potties right here. <laughs> All right, I'm here with Steve. We're at Salt and Sea, right outside of the Yacht Club. It's about 105 degrees or so right now. The uh, radio said it was going to get up to 111 today, which is a perfect day for a nice little walk. Steve's a marathon runner. He's in pretty good shape. He's wearing my equipment. But uh, because he's in such good shape, I think we're going to uh, go for a little bit more than one mile today. So we're going to go for three or four miles, just so he can see what it's like to walk in my shoes. Steve, how do you feel so far? How do you feel about walking uh, three or four miles on the uh, shoreline of Salton Sea? It'll be interesting. Never been here, so I, I'm excited to yep. see what it's going to be like. Now, you're a marathon runner. You think it's going to be easy, or you think it's going to be a tough walk? Uh, it's going to be a tough walk. As hot as it is right now, as humid as it is, and of course, walking on the sand is a lot different than running on the pavement. It's uh, going to be. But now you were saying on the way down that uh, you think walking on the, walking a few miles on the shoreline is no big deal. It would yeah, be easy. You know, everybody wants to stroll along the beach. That's it's perfect. It's relaxing. Right. All right. So let's go over my gear that you're wearing. Turn around a little. So Steve's wearing my backpack with 248 ounces of water. It weighs just about, it's got some other emergency and backup equipment in there, uh, backup batteries and food and stuff. Uh, it weighs just about 23 or 24 pounds today. He's got on uh, my hat, which will protect him from the blazing sun. And he has my walking stick, which is not just a prop. Steve is gonna need that as he walks into the muddy areas to stick into the mud to see if it's dangerous mud or safe mud. So we're going to have to teach him how to use that today. So Steve, if you are ready, we will get walking. I'm ready. And here comes Steve. He's keeping up. How are you feeling, Steve? Uh, hanging in there. It's good. Hot. Lots of dead fish. How's it smell? It's bad. It's bad. How's the, uh, how's the footing? Uh, the footing's not good. It's, uh, not good, okay. Walking through all the barnacles in mud, and it all feels like it's on sponge on top of that, so. Are you having uh, fun? Well, I don't know if I'd say fun. All right, so, so far we've gone, what, maybe a half a mile? Maybe, yeah. How do you feel? It's hot. I still feel okay. It's hot, it's humid, flies everywhere, F dead fish everywhere. Now, remember that we're going to go three or four miles today, maybe, depending on how tough you are. Remember that next year when I do the walk around Salton Sea, I'm going to be doing 20 miles of this every day, six days in a row. It's crazy. You don't think it's easy? Not easy. But you were saying it sounded yeah. easy earlier. Yeah, not easy. Oh, yeah. It's crazy. <laughs> yeah, smelly, sandy. I already got junk in my shoes. Running on the concrete is nice compared to this. So let me make sure I heard that right. Marathon running is easier than walking around the Salton Sea. Is, it, is that what you said? Uh, not yet. All right, let's we'll check. There. We'll check back in another okay. mile. All right. All right. Steve's coming up on his first water crossing, and he survived. How's it feel to do your cro first water crossing? It was exhilarating. Was was it an adventure? It's definitely an adventure. It makes you think of fresh water. I might take a drink of that, but I have a feeling that's probably not like that. You don't want to drink that. No, you don't want to drink it. All right, so we're just at exactly one mile in. We hit a mud flat. I don't know if you can see our footprints there, but we cannot go further. We're sinking deeper and deeper into the mud. So we're going to have to turn them back, get around this wet spot. And uh, you can see Steve sinking up to his ankles there. Come to your right. And uh, we're going to have to go around this mud flat in the desert where it's hot. All right, Steve, how's that uh, Barnacle Beach? It's rough. He says it's rough. 
Probably can't hear them over the sound of the barnacles. It's like walking in, packing peanuts. One. There's one. There you go. There's the fun. Yeah. All right, so we're just over a mile and a half in. Uh, been walking 30 or 40 minutes, going real slow through those barnacles. It's really hot. I'm guessing 110, maybe more. It's unusually hot, hotter than even I'm used to. I don't think Steve's used to this kind of heat. We're uh, taking a cool down, a sit down. Because of the heat, we were both starting to get a little overheated. So we're taking a mandatory uh, cool down break. All right, so uh, how are you feeling so far after about a mile and a half, a little e more than a mile and a half? Exhausted, hot, extremely hot. It's, it's hard to believe we've been out here. The pace is slow. Yeah, I guess we're going at about one mile an hour for the last three quarters of a mile. Yeah, that sounds about right. It's uh, you know, it's like being on a stair climber. Uh, the all the barnacles out here. It's just like walking in sponge, but sharp sponge the whole way through. And you know, it's not just a little deep. You know, there's been several times I've been ankle deep, and you don't know when it's going to happen. And so that makes walking really, really, really tough. It's taxing on your body. Are your elite? marathon runner skills helping you, do you think? I, I think I think a little bit of, you know, pacing, uh, that type of stuff, but it's uh, and maybe a little bit of uh, endurance, but it's, it's more of a stamina. Uh, I, I would think it's more like a CrossFit or something like that because it's, it's much more intense. You don't settle into a pace like you would when you're running for a marathon. So do you still think that taking a stroll along the shores of Salton Sea in summertime is easy? No, definitely not easy. Would you say it's difficult? Yes. Would you say it's extreme? Yes. Would you say it's maybe even as extreme as marathon running? Um, it's probably more life-threatening than marathon running. Marathon running, <laughs> where you're going along a nice, flat, hard surface that anybody could run on, right? As opposed to right. This sponge-like shoreline. Yeah, with life-threatening heat, you could sit out here and expire pretty quickly. Well, now, so let me ask you. We're a couple of miles away from anything, although I heard a train off in the distance. Yeah. So say we had to call 911 right now. Yeah. If you could get a phone signal, yeah. what do you think your chances are of somebody getting out here quickly to uh, cart you off to safety? Probably not that quick. And then on top of that, even if they could get here quick, they, I don't know how they would find you because there's no real landmarks or anything like that that would tell them. You'd have to have a helicopter. Yeah, and there's no way for a helicopter to land here. A helicopter would sink. Yes, absolutely. So you're pretty much on your own out here. Definitely. All right, so are you about ready to uh, hit that other mile and a half back? Yeah. And uh, how long would it normally take you to, to run a mile and a half? Um, 12, 13 minutes, 14 minutes, something yeah. like that. And Not if, very long. And if you were just walking at home, walking along the streets with your wife, how long would you expect it to take a mile and a half? Um... Maybe 25 minutes, 20 minutes, something like that. And how long do you think it's going to take us here today? Uh, it's going to take probably 45 minutes. Yeah, or an hour. <laughs> or an hour. We might have to stop and cool down. Yeah, yeah. So you having fun? Oh yeah, this is a new experience. Definitely a new experience. All right, we made it back. Uh, just under three miles, took a couple of hours. Uh, right now it's, it's a little cooler up here in the parking lot of the Yacht Club, probably, probably about 105, and I'm sure it hit 110 down on the beach. So Steve, how was it? How do you feel? Hot, exhausted. My shoulders are hurting from carrying the pack. I'm glad it's not 20 miles. I can't even imagine doing 20 miles in a day. About 20 miles a day, six days in a row. No, one day would be bad enough. Wouldn't not want to do that every day. You know, 
feel like you're drinking a lot, but you're just sweating it all out. The heat just keeps going. Your heart rate stays up higher and higher and higher. It's hard to get your heart rate down, so it's uh, no fun. So I uh, still think walking, uh, taking a stroll on the beach along Salton Sea is a piece of cake? No, not at all. Not at all. I'd rather be running. Running in a cooler temperature? And in cooler temperature. Early morning would be perfect right now. Sounds like a dream. Well, thank you for taking the walk a mile in my shoes challenge. I hope you had fun, and I'm looking forward to uh, whoever challenge taker number two is. Thanks. You're welcome.